day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Um, go, go ahead. Uh, I want to go back to uh, what, what brother, brother Chris asked the question, you know, probably about 10 or 15 minutes back, you know, you know, what do we do now? Um, the one of the things that came to mind when you asked me, you asked that question, brother, was the, the Good Samaritan story. And it seems to me that uh, what we've done wrong as a church is we've not learned a lesson from that. Uh, what we have done is uh, we went right back to, by default, what everybody else was doing. Yeah. There's a problem out there and we, hey, it ain't my problem, so it don't affect me, so whatever. And, right. and I, I agree. With, I mean, I feel the same thing, Brother Chris, and, and all of us feel. Hey, you know what? <laughs> the flesh says we want to go out there and, and, and do something. The yeah. other thing is, is when we say, well, what can we do? As we're saying it, sim simply stated, we cannot fix the world system. And that's what I think some people try to do. Right. That's not what we are supposed to do. What we're supposed to do is walk in the spirit. And then the last thing I want to say is, when we talk about the church, especially when we're alluding to the mega church, in some of the mega church, in many of the mega churches, there is more people in the mega church on the roster than that, than there were out there protesting. Yeah. <laughs> so if that's the case, of, 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 resource, of human bodies alone, resources alone, we ought to be able to go out there and say, hey, this, this is not right. Right. So we have... Uh, sat on our hands and and, and, and and shackled our own feet and, and done nothing uh, when it comes to what can we do. So it's very interesting because, you know, we're talking about how things got all convoluted. And we've said this before, have we not? How is it that on a Sunday all of us can come together? I'm not talking about just us, but yeah. I'm talking about the church body all, yeah. all over the planet. How is it that on a Sunday we can come together and there's not a movement after we leave the, 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 the four walls of that institution? Right. So we are the, the Bible of prophecy. We're seeing it with yeah. our own eyes. Yeah. yeah. Now what it what it tells me is, and and, and, uh, and uh, all three of you, uh, matter of fact, all of you here kind of said a couple of things. You know what? If, if the situation is too large for me, because you know I got a limited vision, I'm just gonna be honest. With you. But I think right now I got a couple of people that I can literally reach out to and help. Uh, I know a gentleman's problem with a job. I know a gentleman's problem with getting resources. I know a family just, you know, mom lost a job, uh, just lost a son, uh, not to, to uh, Corona or anything, but uh, had some issues. So here it is, you have a death in the family, your mom lost a job. You know what? Hey, I can go out there and assist. And I think that's what we, we need to do is, is just like the, the, the gentleman went and helped someone who may or may not have been like him it, that's beside the point that's a that's a soul that needs help and i should be there to help um you know this saddens me to see all of this you know i i, I watched it just like many of you did and um you know a lot of stuff came out of me as a matter of fact after my daughter showed me the video clip you know i had to walk out of the room because i was just that mad because i didn't want her to see that's that ugly in me you know but uh, the gentleman, I, I don't know, uh, but I, I think Chris has a great question. You know, what do we do? Um, yeah. well, <laughs> we we better stuff. pray yeah. and individually, uh, you know, allow God to work in us. Let that spirit move in us because we know what our flesh wants to do. Come on, right. man. We, as, <laughs> as the elder said, hey, I come where you come from. You know, I, I believe me, I get it. I get it. I certainly get it. But if we, we, we need to be careful. Otherwise, we're going to allow our flesh to to uh, overcome, we're gonna to yield to our fleshly ways and uh, not our spiritual ways. And, it, it, uh, and I pray we don't do that. The and the thing is, it, 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 it don't necessarily mean it's gonna get any easier for us. It's not. You know, we, we already see the writing on the wall. We already see the writing in the word. It says it's gonna get worse before it gets better. It did, right. 
I tell but you, you know, that you would be hated of all men for my name's sake. Well, but, but, the, 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 exactly. The, the funny saying is that earlier though, that Isaiah prophecy is that if you don't hear and perceive and understand the ways that the answers are through Christ, you're going to continue to go the way of the world. And the only answer to the way of the world is destruction. Right. You're not, you're not going to fix this by fighting. No. That's the clue. You, but you will fix it, Brother Jackson, and go back what Addison, Addison said earlier, is that if the church is there and start taking care of each other, you right. got a mega church, you got resources, you should use it. An abundance of resources. You do. Yes. And then you got, in other words, the church could could tell give the answers to the world by start doing what it's supposed to do. Not just preach, but you gotta sit there and help people. Understand right. that, but listen, I'm not going to do anything as a church to help this one way or another because I don't want to mess up my 4013C status as a tax exempt organization. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna sit back and fall back and go, oh, we don't want to get involved because this is political. You know the one thing I think about a 501c3 is entitled a nonprofit. Isn't that kind of indicative of what it is? She ain't profiting nobody. <laughs> but look, I, think Chris, I agree. That's what I'm talking about. But Chris, really, really the thing is that the church has, the law of the church does not take a political side. It can do those things. There's nothing wrong with the church addressing. When Martin Luther King did the civil rights movement, that, that was it. As long as he stayed neutral. I understand that. Now, here's, here's, I said that, said that kind of as a joke. Yeah. But what I'm saying, the folks on the leading edge, the small churches are going to do something. But the bad thing is, they're small. The yeah. big guys ain't going to do nothing. All of them that's affiliated with TVN ain't going to do nothing. And that, well, that, well, that's the problem. Like I said, if you don't operate the way Christ, but you operate some, some political correct way, you're right. You, you're, not, you're not providing the answer. The, the, but the Christ himself is taking QA on this because look yeah. where we're at now. Right. Look down the big churches. He showed us he can do it. Yeah. And, yes. and the idea that was just put forth is that individually, like Brother Jackson was saying, I can do some. I can put on Christ who I'm sitting at and deal with five, ten people or maybe yes, less. Sir. But right. I can do it. And the right. beauty of the, of, 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 the, of the body is that the Spirit of God is in every little bitty component of it. Yeah. He spread us out toward in the masses. We're going to take care of what's in front of us. You will definitely be a political problem, though, Pastor, because it is politics for us. We live in a kingdom. And once we begin to move, propagate the principles of this kingdom, it's going to interrupt what's going on with the kingdoms of the world. No, but I agree with that. But the, the, the issue, though, is that the success, all I know is like if you take Martin Luther King's movement, that was far more successful as long as he was doing God's way. Mm -hmm. In other words, in my fact, it's, it's not only was successful, it was also even lasting up to this day. We know that the world system's Achilles heel at their money. Right. Martin Luther King was, was very influential because he knew how to manipulate the money. If you don't do it our way, we just stop dealing with you. What was that, what, what, saying, though, what, what that was saying is, is how you operate, how you correct things in the system. Brother Addison was correct when he said there and say, if you start, you're talking about the payment of money. If you sit there and start operating in, in a non-selfish way or operate just like, matter of fact, the civil rights movement was that way, brother, as it when they did the, the bus stop thing. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna stop riding the bus. You, 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 you've been manipulating us, you've been using us. We're trapped, we'll use our own cars, right? We'll use our own way to get what we need done. And I'm saying that's what God is trying to tell us to do. We yeah. can, we can, you can do it God's way, addressing this world, but it's still got to be a way in which you sit there and, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to run out of power for the live. I lost the live people. <laughs> you, you still can be effective, but just not do the violence way. Look, matter of fact, Galatians 3, look at this, back here, back again, Galatians 5. Let's look at the works of the flesh. And if we sit there and try to operate by the flesh, you're not going to fix it. This is Galatians chapter 5. I'm going to bring it up in a second. Matter of fact, I'll bring it up now. Yeah, but while he's bringing it up, here's the thing I want to sit and say. I, I agree with what um, Addison is saying, but we have been turned 
as a people, we have been turned around so much that we don't have a, I'll say, infrastructure to provide for ourselves. We have become dependents within this society in America, and we cannot take our money away. Where am I going to go to get something to eat? Where am I going to go? I got to go back to, the, to, to all the stores, all the chains that are locked in. I don't have a resource to go back to the all black farm or the alternative food store or all those places. I can't use my, like I said, I have no resources. I can't, I gotta get snapped. I gotta but, get this. I'm too dependent on this system to but, really fight. But Chris, like I said, that's the problem. If you, if we limit it to just based on color, you're not gonna get it. No, no, but I'm not, you're not. I'm, I'm but really what you not, do I really is, don't it, I don't mean saying color because there's more white folks taking SNAP and EBT than there is black folks. Like that's yeah, one statistical that's, thing that's I true. want them to know. That's, I want them to true. know that there's exactly. more white folks getting it than we are. Right. And, and, and that's the crew that we need to be. A, 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 we're trying to reach the masses. We want to cross over color and racial and ethnic lines and grab everybody and bring them into the kingdom. Exactly. And that's going to happen. That's really yeah. going to happen. So the, the, the resources are literally there. Yeah. We're really not bound by these systems. We're just dependent on them psychologically. Exactly. Even when there was nothing to eat. Right. I mean, they, they, they ate all the hog part and gave us the leftover. We make what del I mean delicacies out of them. So we are very, God has given us something that causes us to be able to survive everything. Right. If the gospel can be pushed in this Johnson, is not told it. The one that helped the Lord carry that cross over Calvary was Simon the Cyrene, and he was a black man. Yeah. We are in the age of the, of the of son of, um, of the, the Holy Spirit, his working in the earth. We're coming down to the end of that age. And I truly think as we submit ourselves to it, to him, to the Lord, the leading of the Holy Ghost, God is going to show some things. We're going to take a leadership role as opposed to taking this gospel to fruition in this age. Yeah. We are in position to do that. We just got to bow down and close our eyes to all the hell we've been through. Start operating in the flesh and just listen to the spirit and realize that he's not saving us or positioning us to be down anybody, but to inspire them to come to him. Blacks, whites, Asians, if we drop our pants, everybody drop their pants. We rap, everybody rap. We go to Christ, see what happens. He That's might, yeah. they might follow us. <laughs> well, I mean, that, and that, that was even what Brother Jackson alluded to the, the, the Good Samaritan is if, if Jesus said in that, that story, what that Samaritan did to that person, he did it. regardless of where they came from, he, he treated their wounds, he took them to an end, he told the man, look, take care of this man, and if, if, if I owe you anything, I'll give it to you when I come back. That's the operation of the church, where if we, if we do it black and white, we're not going to make it. I mean, we got to do it people. It got to be a collection. We can't, in other words, Chris, I'm saying is we can't replace it one system with another system That's cool. based on color. It has to be a system that inclusive, working together, and, 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 and I guess what I call it love, right? And then the reason I was showing you Galatians uh, 5, I'm showing the difference between the works of the flesh and the, work, and the fruits of the spirit. Let me show it to you. Where's my, where's my cursor right here? Chris, you read that for us. It's all the way from um, 16 to 20. Chapter 5. Okay, hold on. Let me pull it up on here because y'all blocking something. So let me... Da, 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 da. Galatians 5. I'm like, I'm pulling up on my other computer so I can, so I can read it to y'all. Boy, you so blessed. You got two computers. <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, I got my five laying around my house. <laughs> I, I thought if you, you, you abundantly blessed. blessed. I thought you moved out of the way. No, I, hey, let, me show, let me show you. Well, never mind. Let me read this for y'all. Where you want me to start at? <laughs> Wait a sec. It looked like you fell down. <laughs> no, I, I will go turn the TV. I will turn around and show you the computer, I'm, the other computer I'm messing with. Right. Okay, which, where I need to start? 16 through uh, 26. All right, here we go. 
This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one to the other. Okay. That ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy, envying, murder, drunkenness, revealing, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now stop for a second, Chris. Now, the kingdom of God is not the kingdom of heaven. It's not heaven. Go on, He's talking about a system. Go ahead on, preach. Yeah. It exists now. Remember, yeah. he said that the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is at hand right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to say is, if we go by the flesh, we're not going to inherit God's way. We have to do it God's way in order to be successful. Meaning, like you said, early church. Early church, they said, hey, let's go take care of these people. You know, matter of fact, if you ever noticed, even Jesus had a treasurer, even though it was Judas, what was he doing with a treasurer? And why, did, why didn't they think Jesus, what, when they Jesus told Judas to go and, 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 and do something, why did you think that they thought he was going to give some money to some to to help out the poor people? Because that's what they were doing. Yeah, re, yeah, it's like you say, say it. and that's part of what the problem is: redistribution of wealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Go ahead. That's the key. The and, 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 redistribution of, of, of resources, power, education, whatever. The one who has it distributes um, to the ones that don't. And that's how the kingdom is established. That's, that's why how the kingdom was established. That's no. what I'm saying. The, 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 the book, chapter Acts, Chris, when they first started, they sold. People sold things. And yeah. they gave it to other yeah. people. Because yeah. that's the kingdom's way. Now you preach. Right? Come on here. And, and, yet, and yet we sit there and try to do it the world's way. Mm -hmm. And every time we do the world's way, we're going to sit there and fall in the same trap over and over again. The but we're looking at our God. Our QA is really working this thing, man. These guys are dying off. The word itself says that judgment will begin in the household of God. We're, we're, we're not operating on our own, you know, uh, 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 our own authority or our own anything, power. It's God looking at us and seeing what we're doing in, 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 in alignment with his will. It's his plan of salvation. It's not ours. It's not ours. If we do it his way, it works. The Roman government, which suppressed the Israelites, is no more. Who is the kingdom of God? This thing fell thousands of years ago, but the United States, the United States of America, forgetting the United States of America, the kingdom of God is still growing. And we are part of that kingdom. That thing is not going to go away. It says it's an everlasting kingdom. But it's built on love. It's built on equitable resource. I mean, distribution of power, of resources. It's yeah. sustaining. It, it benefits the least of the people. Come the on, bro. You shall be as your servant. The one yeah. with the full power is going to serve everybody else. And the one that's got a little power is going to be empowered to serve as many as they can. And that's the way the kingdom is built. That's why it lasts. But governments that have to thwart and suppress people last only as long as they can keep people down. When somebody exactly. rises up stronger than them, they overthrow them. So the world system doesn't work. It, In it, other words, you're right. It's always destructive, right? It's always destructive. Rome, Rome destroyed itself, basically internally, because of corruption. The, the church, ministry, fall because of internal destruction and corruption. If you, as long as you do it the world's way, all you're going to do is keep getting the same thing. Those drug dealers are sitting there in, in the black community uh, or in white community too. It, but those drug dealers are giving people poison and, 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 and tell those people kill themselves, right? Become addicted. 
It went, you know, in other words, it's a business that's not sustainable. It's a business not supportable, right? It is sustainable and supportable if your government is helping finance it and push it all around the doggone world. Woo. Well, you know, the worst is there's a, there's a way it seems right until a man the end of his death. There'll be some sustaining. There will be some period where you will last, but you'll always be taking a downward spiral. Exactly. Um, if you sell drugs like that, if you know what happened to a drug addict, I mean, not a drug addict, but well, a drug addict kills himself eventually, but a, a, a dope dealer, if he's ever caught, they take all of his resources. <laughs> and he gets replaced. He gets replaced. They're like baby's kids. If you don't put another one in there, I'll step up and do it. Yeah, but it's always a destructive mission. It's always, yes, the end game is always somebody that's going to end up worse off. Yeah, but like I said, if you, get in the, if you get in the drug game, your only way out is to die. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's it's, it's self destructive, isn't it? Yep. Yes. And and and, and, and matter of fact, if you matter of fact, we bring in the, the system like even the word snitch, right? Look, look. In other words, snitching itself is is saying, don't tell somebody that somebody did something wrong. And but the problem with that is. If they did the wrong to me, how am I going to address the problem, right? In other words, the only way I can address the problem is, I guess I got to go ahead and do the same thing that was done to me or to my friend. We get into this cycle of I kill you, you kill me. We, ki You know what I mean, Chris? Yeah, I found out two for two. And it just, it just perpetuates, right? Yep. You got right now, and, it, and we when brother, when our elder was talking about like Macon, the shooting, Chicago, the shooting, Chris, it it, it just we're killing each other. But now, now see, I want to say something about all that too. A lot of that is socioeconomic because naturally, black folks don't just arbitrarily shoot each other. There is a reason. It yeah. might be illegal. But right. there's a reason why I both that. It's a now, money thing, right? Yeah. Now, if now if we were running around doing mass shooting, yeah, I'd be more upset because, like I said, if I don't travel in those dope circles, I should never get shot because I'm not gonna be a participant. Right. But then they infiltrate the other areas too. I understand that, but yeah. I'm saying, but if 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 if, if I like I say I can stay away from that if I choose to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but Chris, but was but again, some people don't like if you have your own business. Some of that stuff they deal is with talking about protection. In other words, I mean, it wasn't just just blacks. Don't get me wrong, because same thing with the mob. Mafia did the same thing. If yep. you're going to operate in my area, well, you, you got to pay for protection. I understand. Here's the whole thing. Don't sit there and say black and white, cause all at the top. I'm going back to my old stereotypical thing, like back from the '70s. Yeah. In every every movie you watch, if you see, it was a rich white man at the top of the dog on pyramid. But you know what was bad about it? There was a pimp that was pimping black women, and he became our hero, the Mike yes. uh, Superfly. Yes, so, sir. So there was something about our nature that caused us to gravitate toward that which was debauchery. And, and but don't say, don't say, and don't just say our nature. Epstein, Epstein, or whatever that guy named, he was a big pimp. Oh yeah, uh, and then uh, your boy with the what was the Playboy Bunny? Bunny is uh, come on now, you Hefner, they were all that. So that human nature just pops up. Come on <laughs> it pops now, up in all of us, you know. Come on now, you got you got the you got the the, the Hooters, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, and, and you got the in Vegas, you got the escort service, escort yes. service, right? You got massage places, right? I ain't said all massage places are not that bad, but there are. Yeah, hey, and, and what the first thing Trump opened back up, but that's another story. I know, ain't that oh, yeah, story? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they need some, some what do you call them, canaries Woo. that they get into the mine to see who's going to die now. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, so the problem I'm saying is that you're not going to hear it, in, even in the church, when it goes into the flesh, it's not inherit the kingdom of God's way. Amen, man. Right? And, and that's what God is trying to say. If you do the works of the flesh, Chris, what you was reading, I'm saying is that's not outside, that's outside the kingdom. I agree. A way of operating. And God is saying this is my kingdom. Is the kingdom operate within, Brother Jackson, is operate within the kingdom system. 
In the kingdom system, we're supposed to take care of one another. In the kingdom system. If, if we operate operating there, we begin to demonstrate that. I think he'll raise us up. We always got to remember that this thing is in the hands of God. Right. He and, do what he want to do. He needs a good representative in the earth. And right now we don't have one. Right. So, so we, when we operate within the Christ, kingdom. And we're perfected in Christ and can demonstrate right. his faith in the earth, then he can use us as the example. And the elevation take, comes at that. So we got to humble ourselves to the Lord and do it his way, whether we agree with it or not, because our flesh is never going to agree with that. Exactly. We, in other words, we're going we're gonna to have to bear... Agree. We're gonna to have to bear the fruit. So, yep. Chris, you read the rest of that. That that's uh, you you stopped at twenty one. You got twenty two to twenty. Oh, I got it. But the fruit of the spirit is love, come joy, on. No, peace, come long on. suffering, come on, gentleness, come, come on, here. goodness, faith, meekness, come on, temperance. Against such there is no law. Now we can stop for a second. Look, the first first anchor is love by itself mm -hmm. right love in other words love one another meaning don't hate one another <laughs> then, then i like the fact that it's talking about is it's love then it's joy right is joy is the next one isn't it yes sir, yeah. sir. make sure to understand something the bible said that the joy of the lord is my strength he ain't asked you to be comedy club, Chris. He's sitting there saying, rejoice and enjoy with the Lord. Rejoice in what he's doing. Amen? Amen. The, the other one, now Chris, here's the one about the peace. I shouldn't be slapping you on the refrigerator. You shouldn't be slapping your wife on the refrigerator if you got peace. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be kicking your kid out. You should be having trying to have peace in the home. Mm -hmm. But as it got, he had a story that he know about kicking people out. <laughs> but but the point is, the whole objective is to have peace. Peace is That's not a part of having peace. Get out. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, bro. Right. Oh, peace be still, right? Peace be still. <laughs> but right now, we we don't have that. You heard a quote: "No justice, no peace. No peace. No justice, no peace." No Jesus. You can't get no justice. justice from an unrighteous system. No Jesus, no justice. That's the point. No Jesus, no peace. No justice, no peace. No peace. Yep. You know? and, and then here's the one. Here's the one. Everybody that long suffering is patience toward one another. Help yeah. The Lord. Help the Lord. Yeah. If you and you know that's a big one. Amen. You know what? Hey, hey. It's been a long time. Come on, bro. Now nah, they can go back. Remember what I keep telling y'all about them four generations and walking in the wilderness for 40 years? Whoa, come on, brother. Listen to me. It's been almost 40 years since they, they started this, this civil rights integration thing. Woo. And they, like I said, the mindset is getting ready to change. We might not like the mindset that's coming up, uh -huh. but something finna change. I think so, Chris. And I think that what I'm hoping is that this, this is going to come out good if the church rise up to be an operator within the kingdom system amen man the church has to recognize mm. that amen. how's the church recognize then you're gonna bring other people in the whole world is gonna conclude that the law does not work amen and, 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 and as long as we keep doing it the way even the snitch law doesn't work that's a law right that's a that's a that's an informal law but it's a law well, the people recognize that. The people of color recognize that already, and they have recognized that for for generations. Yeah. You know, the the law doesn't work. The law. The law. Does the law does not work. Not for them. No. Nope. Um, throw that. Throw but, this on top of it too. The church, the way it's constructed right now, does not work for them. Yeah. That's the one thing nobody wants to say. Yeah, and that, that's a true statement. The, 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 the issue is just uh, a generation ago, the church was beginning to fulfill back in, you know, when Martin Luther King, well, a couple of generations. That was four but, generations but, ago. But that's what I'm saying. That, that what I'm they were, to they were starting we, we, to get in order. To me. We might not like what we about to see. Because yeah. like I said, through them four generations, things have went backwards. Yeah. We might not like what we about to see. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, uh...